This is where the copper lines go into the unit. As you can see, they're not sealed. Again, bringing the hot, dusty attic air into it. This is the side panel door. As you can see, we got lots of infiltration going on here too. This is where the drain line comes out. Again, lots of air infiltration. You can actually see the mold and mildew growing on the pipe because it's not insulated. And there's a water spot on the floor showing condensation. I believe this is where the little breaker box is. Again, we got air infiltration. So lots of air infiltration on this unit. This is return air. Where it's like they have it seamed. As you can see, it's not sealed. There's no mastic in this area. Although there is mastic up here. There is no mastic here to truly air seal to stop from bringing the hot, dusty air. This is where the return plenum goes into the blower unit. As you can see, they do have mastic here, but it's uh, broken up and not sealed any longer, and you have air infiltration. This is the return air going into the wall of the second floor where the, where the return air is located, the grill. And as you can see, we got air coming in through the 2x4 and the return air plenum. This is next to the return air of the downstairs unit. As you can see, right where sheetrock goes up to the framing of the uh, chase, it's not sealed. Although it's sealed right there, just next to the uh, sheetrock, it's not sealed. This is a top plate penetration going into the return air chase. As you can see, it's not air sealed, bringing in hot, dusty air from the attic or cold air during winter. This is, ne this is next to the return air first floor unit. I can see through into the uh, return air chase, I can actually see the return air filter through this crack. Again, we're not air sealed. And you can see the smoke being brought down.